footwork absolutely key for both men in this contest for me. I think Hogan we've seen in the past against Mungia, Sam Egger, and he likes to move, varies up direction, quite happy on the back foot. So it's so important for Metcalf to bring his feet in, he can't be falling short of the shots like that with a double jab, he needs to bring those feet in, Nick needs to get close, try to work the body, slow down that movement. See, looking for the left to the body, trying to slow those legs down, slow the movement down of Hogan. We talk so much here tonight about the atmosphere and how raucous it will be come fight time for Katie Taylor. But Metcalf went to Bilbao and beat the local hero Kem and Leharaga a year ago tonight and did it in some style. Darren, the last fight, movement to your left. You're walking straight into the right hand. I could see Metcalf was lining that punch up. He's still doing it. Yeah, he's creeping to his left. Hogan, isn't he? Walking on that and he does tend to carry his chin quite high. So he needs to vary up that movement, tuck that chin down, and stay away from the right hand of Metcalf. Just miss him with the shot. A good overhand right from, from Hogan there. They're asking for him in the Metcalf corner to step in. Two-phase attack and don't necessarily oh, good left hook. Good shot again, the right hand from Metcalf, he's felt these Hogan for sure. Good overcut inside, Darren. This is a brilliant start to the round by Metcalf. Right hand, Andy. Over that lead, left hand of Hogan, he's swaying back, the chin's up in there, he's moving to his left. Got to make some adjustments here, Hogan. And in the corner in between rounds, Metcalf was told to follow up when he has success. That's what he's got to do now. Yeah, it's a very much a bit like Dave Seda, a battle of the feet, but also a battle of the jabs. The feint and jab from Hogan to keep Metcalf at bay, just like that. But also the Metcalf jab where he can double and close the distance using it. I think Dennis Hogan has to put, try and land something with authority on Metcalf to get his respect. I think he's been too passive at the moment. Moving too much a little bit, he has to hold his ground just like this yeah, and this try and land something of significance. There it oh. is, right there, as I said it. Great right hand from Dennis. Yeah, you're right, he's giving up too much ground, Hogan. He needs to allow space behind him so when Metcalf does attack, he can glide out and fire back with the counters. Exactly, Darren. He's got to keep his feints going at the centre, keep the fight in the centre of the ring. He can't be on the ropes all the time because he's only going to get walked onto a right hand. Both guys having, having success landing big shots in this round, as we said earlier, it's going to heat up. Very hard to see this contest go in the distance. 50 seconds to go in the third. Some good pressure on the front foot from Metcalf, trying to close that gap, and he is doing so. He just can't walk in and just throw his hands. He's got to be a little bit more clever, a little bit more proud of his work. And he also just needs to be loaded up looking for one big shot. Just let his hands go work consistently. And in keeping with that, Andy, just next to me here in the corner, Declan O'Rourke is imploring him to throw the jab. Yeah, I think the jab to the body wouldn't go and miss. Like I say, oh, there's that right hand. Put it up with right up. hand. Took that one well, Mike. Right hand, the left hook as well, but. When you think he's hurt, Hogan, he's got to regroup really quickly. This is good pressure, this, from Metcalf. Really making Hogan move a lot and work a lot. A lot of non-punching activity. He's moving up, but it's not, a, it's not like he's dancing on a high-energy movement, Down. I think he can do this in 12 rounds quite comfortably. He's just little steps, little steps, little steps, and then he tries to raid in like that. Hold it, 
when Hogan does get tagged, he seems to regroup and then eventually come back with shots of his own. He's done it again in this round. As I said, he's really generous from cleverness. He's quite good at initiating the clinch and then freeing his hands just like this. Look, he'll, he'll get in, then he'll free his hand to punch. And so the final three minutes of a contest in which both men have had repeated success, underlined by the opening exchange. Both landing solidly inside the first few seconds. Yeah, he walked onto a massive right hand there, Metcalf, but he responded really, really well from the instructions in his corner, saying, come on, do it for Liverpool, bring that title home. And you can see it now really letting his shots go, but walking onto shots of his own, good left hook from Hogan. Is this the round that decides it? Tough fight to score. Yeah, it's a, it's a close fight, but who wants it more? Who's going to leave it all in the ring? Who's going to finish the stronger? Has he got enough in the tank, Hogan? to stand there with Metcalf. That movement again. Murphy's is it. Murphy's come out again. He's got to go for it, Metcalf. He's got to take advantage of this. I think... This could be winning him the round, Mecca. This little busy work, stay, letting his hands free in the inside, letting his hands go. It's putting an impression on, in my mind. I know it must be putting an impression on the judge's mind. It looks like he's got more left in the tank, Metcalf. This, this could be a round. point. This could be a point. This could be a point now. That's the third or fourth time it's been out of his mouth. Look at this. Oh, no. How significant would that be? An applause from Metcalf's corner, they were calling for that in between the 11th and this final round. Hogan has to go for it now, he can't, he can't risk it. He can't think, he can't be too sure what rounds he's got in the bank. Heading into the last minute of the last round. Try and walk him onto one of those right hands, Hogan. He needs something here. This is a massive round for Metcalf. With that point taken off. But he looks spent. Holding on, spluttering. Metcalf trying to stop him to work. Stop him working, sorry. These scorecards are going to be so interesting. Pick a winner, Darren. <laughs> and one of those where you see different fights from different sides of the ring. Exactly, Mike. And the last exchange. Both men believing that was enough to swing it their way. Jubilant celebrations from the Metcalf corner. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action here in Dublin, Ireland, we go to the judges' scorecards. Steve Weisfeld and Patrick Morley both have this bout 117-110. Julio Piras scores this bout 115-112. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. And the new... Ireland 